Welcome to episode 15 of Vampire Survivor like game in Unity. Leveling up menu and pausing the game. So we have an acquisition of experience, we have levels, but we don't get any kind of progression or bonuses based on the character leveling up. So we want to introduce them. When you get the level, a menu should appear and you should be able to select a bonus you want to acquire. But before we do so, we need to implement a menu and pause system. So when you press escape, we want to pause the game and open the menu. Select game manager and create another new component called main menu. Here we will create a serialized reference to the main menu panel. And in the update we will set the panel active if we press escape. Now in the editor create the main menu panel. Add caption. Add two buttons to close the panel and exit to main menu. Reference the panel on the game manager. Let's test this. Good. Now we can open the menu but can't do anything with it. So let's make it possible to close the menu by creating a new method called close menu. And let's extract this part into the new uh, open menu method. So we want to make it when you press escape, it will open the menu. And if you press escape once again, it will close the menu. It can be done by checking the state of the active in hierarchy of the panel. And open the menu if it is inactive and close the menu if it is active. Then on the scene select close button and add on click call to the close menu method.
Good. But there is no pausing when we open the menu. So we need to add a pause game manager to manage our pause state of the game. Create another new component called pause manager. Create public method called pause game, where we will set the game to be paused by setting the time scale to be zero. And create the unpause method and set the time scale back to one to unpause the game. Now in the menu script, we want to pause and unpause game when we open and close the menu. So to do so, we need to cache the pause manager. Cache the pause manager in the awake. Because pause manager attached to the same object as the main menu, a game manager, we can simply cache it by simply calling get component and call pause and unpause when we open or close the menu. Let's test this. As you can see, when we see enemy or see our projectile, game will freeze if we open the menu. Good. Let's add exit to menu component to our exit to menu button and call back to menu. This episode is brought to you by generous support of people on Patreon and members on YouTube. If you want to join them, link to my Patreon in the description. And join button available right now on YouTube. If you join at $10 or more, you will get access to project files on Patreon. Great. Now when we level up, we want to open a new panel with upgrades, where the player will be able to select a new upgrade for his character. And when this panel is opened, we need to pause the game. In this episode, we will only open the menu. In the next episode, we will implement an actual upgrades. Create a new panel called upgrade panel. Add caption text. Let's add only one button called close for now. Hide the panel because on the start of the game it should be hidden. Let's reorder the scene a little to make the game manager on top of everything. Select Game Manager and create another new component called Upgrade Panel Manager. Inside create serialized field for the panel. And similar to pause menu, create open and close panel methods. Add 
again similar to the pause menu, let's pause the game on the open panel and unpause on close panel. Good. Now we need to call open panel when we get a level up. Open level script. Add serialized field for upgrade panel manager. And when we gain a level Call open panel. While we are here, let's extract this code into the new method called level up. Assign reference. On the panel, make the button call close panel. Let's test this. I forgot to reference the panel object on the upgrade panel manager. Now it should work. Perfect. If you have any questions or any ideas about code, please leave your comment below. Please subscribe for more episodes. You can find my Patreon in the description. Special thank you to Andrew Vilong, this old hashdo. Fari Passe and Dominic Macchiocha for their generous support. With best regards, see you in the next episode.